This is an LCD display. These are a very easy and affordable way to give output capability to your project. This display in particular is a 1602 LCD, 16 characters wide, two characters tall for 32 characters total. This LCD has a backlight and a potentiometer on the back to adjust contrast. The displays are very bright and legible. This is the exact same display, except for one big difference. This LCD requires approximately 12 connections to function. This LCD is the same, except it has a serial module installed. A little more expensive, but only requires four connections. I highly recommend the serial version of the LCD for beginners. They are just too easy to use. If we look at the connections in our LCD, they are fairly simple. One for ground, one for power, and two data pins. There's a jumper here for the backlight, and here is the potentiometer to adjust the contrast. The first thing we'll need to do is install the LCD I2C library. Go to Tool, Manage Libraries, then search for LCD underscore I2C, then install. Let's connect the LCD. First the power, then the ground, then simply connect the SDA from the LCD to the SDA on the Arduino, then do the same for SCL. It's easiest to use this type of jumper wire that has male on one end, female on the other, also known as a DuPont connector. Let's go to the code. We'll start with the classic hello world. First, we'll need to include the LCD I2C library and set the LCD address to 0x27. This is the default address of the serial board on the back of the LCD. The address is set using the jumpers here. If all of them are open like they are here, the address is 0x27 hex. These two setup lines start the LCD and also turn on the backlight. Now we just need to use an LCD print command to write hello world on the display. If you look at the commands contained in the liquid crystal library, as I'm showing from the arduino.cc website, the commands for the LCD I2C library are similar. Back to the sketch. We'll just use a print command to write hello world to the screen. Upload and we get hello world. Let's adjust the potentiometer for the best contrast. One more example. We'll use a for loop to show a running count on the screen. We'll write the label counter. Then we'll use the set cursor command to place the cursor. Then write the value of the counter. Upload and we get a running count quickly and easily. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.